The age old question in rheumatoid arthritis is always about methotrexate and the liver. This is Eric Dine, MD, reporting on behalf of RoomNow at ACR 2020, ACR Convergence from Baltimore, Maryland. There was lots of great information from the morning poster sessions today. I wanted to talk about Abstract 0181 by Dr. Choi from Korea. Looked at 92 patients with non alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, NAFLD and to see if, uh, if there's a difference in patients with methotrexate uh, that was a risk factor for development of NAFLD. This was a case controlled retrospective study. The prevalence of NAFLD did not appear to significantly differ across the cumulative methotrexate dose, p value of 0 0.9. So, what did increase the risk for non alcoholic fatty liver? The things you'd expect. So, triglycerides. Odd ratio for that was almost fivefold, and high BMI odd ratio there being 1.2. Does that answer the question a bit? So they, they say that this the benefit of the study is that it's real world data, but we are subject, of course, to the, the bias of this being retrospective analysis. What made the patients different that were on higher doses of methotrexate? Were their patient characteristics that weren't fully accounted for? Biasing the patients that did well on the higher doses of methotrexate without hepatic disease. I think that that is a limitation in my mind, but I, I do agree with Dr. Choi and their team's take takeaway that you should look at the whole patient picture, not just the methotrexate. So we, we treat the whole patient. So if you're worried about the about the liver, talk to them about their weight, their diet, not just focusing on the methotrexate dosage. This is Dr. Eric Dime. Thank you for your time and look forward to checking back in with you throughout all of the convergence um, meeting and and Check into room now throughout the meeting for more information. Thank you.